should I take my shirt off? <laughs> or like, should I wait to be told to take my shirt off? So I'm just sitting there like, dang. Okay, the truth about nipple piercings. Um, so I got my nipples pierced. And if you're thinking about getting them, just first of all, like with any piercing, I always like tell people, and I'm sure you hear it all the time, just make sure it's really something that you want to do for you um, because it is a big deal, right? Like it's like a, a strategic wound on your body and you don't really know how your body is going to respond to that, right? Like you can do everything you can, but um, some people react badly to piercings and sometimes it's a really long process. It can be a lot of work. Uh, some people, they heal very easily, but yeah, it's, it's a commitment. <laughs> so I got my nipples pierced when I was 18. It was something that I had wanted since I was like 16. Um, and then I waited. I, I went by myself. I found a really good piercer. And when I went, I was just like, hey, <laughs> you know, like, this is what I want to do. And um, it was a male piercer. And he was like, very, very nice about it. Very like respectful, just professional. Uh, we went into the piercing room and, um, I thought that it was going to be really awkward, <laughs> you know, like taking my shirt off and everything like with a total stranger. And, um, he was just like, he never told me to take my shirt off. So I'm just sitting there like, dang, like, should I should I take my shirt off <laughs> or like, should I wait to be told to take my shirt off? So I'm just sitting there like, dang, and I'm hella stressed. And, um, he has a little like marker, like he's trying to make the marks and stuff. And then he's just like standing there. And, um, I remember he was just like, and whenever you're ready, you know, so I can make the markings. I was like, oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> so I take everything off and then I'm just standing there like, do, 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 do. <laughs> And, um, super professional. Like it, it wasn't uncomfortable at all. Like he, you know, he wasn't like touching me at all. Like it was just like very precise. Like he's like focused trying to get everything in line. And he was like, okay, this is good. So I lay down on the little chair, but it's like a lounge. It's almost like a table anyway. So I lay, I'm laying down and, um, you know, he's kind of explaining how things are going to go. And basically he was saying like, I'm going to do one and then I'm immediately going to go to the other side. Okay. Um, and he kind of told me how like some people get turned away from the first one. So they end up not doing the second one. So he likes to be very, very quick. So I'm like, okay, bet. Okay. The, and I, it's been years, right? It's been years since I got this done and I'll never forget the feeling I felt like somebody took an ice cream scooper and just like scooped into my body and like ripped everything out. I was like, uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it was a really, really, really interesting feeling. It hurt. It did hurt. Like, I'm not going to lie. It did hurt. Um, but I laughed and he did say, he was like, I've never in like all my decades of piercing, I've never had anybody laugh before. And I'm just like, yeah, I laugh for everything. <laughs> it's true. I do. I was like in so much pain, but it's very fast. It was like, okay, like if this is your nipple and this is like a thing, it's like, it was, I don't know. It was just scooping my inner nipple away. It just, it's such a weird feeling. Like, I feel like you have to go through it to understand. Um, but yeah, like, I think my body couldn't process how much it actually hurt. So I was just laughing. And then he was immediately already doing the second one. So I got through the process relatively quickly. And as soon as he finished, there was no pain, right? Like, it was like the scooping part that hurt and then it was like no pain. Um, I remember driving home and like they were, it wasn't a big deal at all. Like I I was just like, oh, well, I, I did it. <laughs> and um, yeah, just make sure the seatbelt isn't like, I mean, if you wear a bra, it's fine. But like if you don't wear a bra, if the seatbelt like gets on it, 
don't let that happen to you, <laughs> especially right after you pierce it. Um, but yeah, like it, it was a pretty fast process. Um, as far as the healing went, um, I remember like having these two little cups full of saline, like putting them on my nipples and like laying down <laughs> and things like that. Um, but for the most part, like I just wouldn't touch them. I was still very young though. Do not be like me. I, at the beginning stages, like when things started to get crusty and stuff, I would just like rub the crust off. Like you don't like with your dirty ass hands, like don't do that. Um, yeah, like I definitely should have been like going into the shower and just letting the water kind of like run on the piercings to get the crusties off and things like that. But no, like I'm out here like flipping it around and, you know, like I, I was convinced that the only way to truly clean all the crusties off ones was to just take the piercing out. Dumb, right? I know. I know. Trust me. I know. So I take it out. I'm like, I'm just going to take a shower just to like really like clean everything. I like I rinse the piercing. Quickest shower ever, like maybe a couple minutes. I had to rip through the film of skin that was already growing back. Like, you know, I had to basically re re pierce my nipple. And it when I say pain, I mean like you don't understand. Like I think the the closest pain, oh my gosh. Like it was just it was horrible. Because the little um the twirly like screw edge of the end of the piercing, like the edge of the post that thread like you're feeling it rip through every single inch oh God. well like millimeter <laughs> and um yeah it hurt so bad but like i wasn't about to just like let one heal i was like oh it hurts so bad don't be like me don't do it like honestly you should just get the piercing and leave it alone just leave it alone keep it protected don't let any trauma happen to it um, when you're in the shower, let the water like beat on it and get the crusties off. When your hands are very clean, like, you know, it's okay to like move it very slightly, but don't get crazy and just like clean it with saline like twice a day. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, again, I was just very young. I really was just kind of winging it. Um, that was like right when I got the piercing, but I quickly realized that I was doing everything wrong. I left it alone and they healed fine. Also with nipple piercings I feel like out of all my piercings they took the longest to heal I can't even give you like an exact amount of time because eventually like like they're on your nipples so like you can kind of forget about them and everything and um I could resume like normal like whatever you're doing with your nipples like that normal type activity like I feel like I resumed it within like a year <laughs> like I don't know um but pretty much the biggest concern for me was um sometimes they still hurt like it's been years and sometimes uh it seems like they're getting like re-irritated so I think at least for my body it seems like an ongoing process of like always making sure that um I'm like taking like time to like really clean the the piercing and everything uh because i do but i don't clean it with like saline and sometimes i'm like okay maybe i do need to clean it with saline even though it has been a few years and i don't know if that's just like me or what um and it's only one <laughs> it's probably the one that like i took out the one time and like now it's just ruined forever um but yeah, it really wasn't a horrible experience. Like I, I laughed about it. <laughs> I, I was happy about it immediately. Um, my body didn't reject it. I feel like they look nice. Like I like them. I did it for me. I just, I like the way they look. And yeah, as far as changing the piercings out, I didn't really dabble in that because it was always hard for me to get the exact size, right? Cause some of them are longer, the bars. Um, and I'm just too lazy to measure. Like, I don't care. I like the ones that I got pierced with. So, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, yeah. So again, recap, if you're thinking about getting your nipples pierced, just make sure you're doing it for you. Uh, make sure you go to a real piercer that has good reviews and, um, 
makes you feel comfortable, makes things very professional. That's how it should always be. Um, don't mess around with it. Keep it away from trauma. Keep it away from dirty fingers and whatever else. <laughs> and um, yeah, saline washes, get the crusties off in the shower and yes. Um, I do have, how many piercings do I have? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 11 piercings and I will go over all of them. So if you like piercings, I got you. I don't have any dermals or just any, any like in the skin type piercings I don't have. I love, I think they look so dope. But um, I always like played volleyball and football and then rugby. And yeah, it's just, I wasn't going to set myself up for failure to have those ripped out of my body. <laughs> so yeah, um, power to you guys though. <laughs> and um, yeah, let me know if you had your own experience with nipple piercings or if you're thinking about getting them. Yeah. Take care, guys. <laughs>